most prolific rock groups in the country. This is their latest album. It's called Warehouse Songs and Stories. Here to sing, You Could Be the One, is Who's Kadu. I was putzing around on YouTube last night and I found an old video of you and the guys from Husker Du on the Joan Rivers show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It's really good. That, that was a, that, they were really, really uh, nice to us. Give us each one, I get your names. I want to know who's the calming one, who's the wild one, who's in the group, who's your, uh, tell me. Uh, my name is Bob Mould. You're Bob. And All right. <laughs> I guess calm, I guess calming. You're the calm one. one All right. One of, yeah. It's a little surreal to see Joan Rivers talking about who's her do. It was talking to who's her do. It was. It was. It was. It was sort of surreal talking to Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was. It was mutually uh, strange. What a play! The three of you are just wonderful. Will you come back again? Oh, Mr. Rivers, we will be right back. Small pieces of truth whispered on the. Dance floor Lift the hazy wind up on a moment Fresh air makes you nervous Why'd you have to come around? You worked in professional Yeah, it, was, it helped with script writing. What provoked that? Um, I'm a lifelong fan. I had an opportunity to get into the business and said, sure. And I was taking a break from music anyway. So, so you weren't actually doing the wrestling? No, no, I probably wouldn't be so great at that. I mean, I've got size, but I'm not, you know. You're not nimble. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me the good word. I'm sorry, baby. But you can't stand in my light anymore. You're moving back to the shadow. I can't fight you anymore, no, no. In 1989, when Workbook came out, there was an article that said you were the most depressed man in rock and roll. Excellent. <laughs> I, how did I get ahead of Morrissey? Um, <laughs> was it true at the time? Somebody trip him on the way to the trophy. <laughs> um, I think I was one of the more introspective people of that era. And I think sometimes people take, you know, people look at somebody who's very introspective and sort of challenging, you know, and sort of the darker spots of, of, of your mind with work and, you know, that, that people will say that's depressing. But you're, you seem pretty happy now. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Doesn't mean I can't write depressing work now. <laughs> Just means I don't drag it around with me all day. A couple years ago, Spin Magazine outed you. Mm. How do you look back at that now? Were you angry at the time? And, and in hindsight, what's your um, feeling about it? Probably would have been, it probably would have been to my benefit to address it publicly sooner, but I think everybody has their own comfort level. I would imagine it wasn't easy to be in the closet in the 80s, in the, in the post-punk era. Um, it, was, it was more of an open secret. It just wasn't something that I advertised. Your career post Husker Du has taken just, and your life has, has taken some incredible turns. I mean, if you mm -hmm. condense it, as journalists are wont to do, yeah. into one sentence of yeah. coming out, going solo, working mm -hmm. for pro wrestling, nice. and getting into techno. Yeah. All things nobody would have predicted. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's next? I know, what are you going to do? Who would have predicted that we're doing this? How do you top that? How do you, how, who would have thought that I'd be sitting in the middle of other music? You know, in New York City doing an interview for being asked impertinent questions by some dude from They're New not York impertinent, they're they're way too <laughs> pertinent. I'm trying to duck them all, can't you <laughs> tell?